2017 will kick off sporting action with the Lima Call Rung Robin Football Tournament, which has been approved by the Ghana Football Federation. At the press conference, director of the Petro organization Troy Mendonca shared his vision for the tournament that was birthed only one year ago. The the birth of this tournament basically um, was to have a parallel or the aim ideally is to have a parallel tournament to the elite league uh, with the teams not participating in the elite league um, and this is and this is not um, any this is just our input at the senior level from petra organization hopefully hopefully in maybe a year to come or maybe another two years the gff will recognize or <laughs> recognize this tournament as um, maybe the tournament that they're going to use to have the promotion relegation uh, things. That, that's our aim or our hope. Finance manager at New GPC, Dwayne Lovell, said that the company is pleased to be associated with Petra in organizing a tournament that is expected to have a high caliber. We at New GPC is proud to be part of the second Lima Call Petra Knuckle Tournament. And uh, being part of the second tournament, we are looking forward to see the game played in such a way that the, the teams respect the rules of the game. And, uh, and we were asking, may the best team win. Meanwhile, President of the Guyana Football Federation, Wayne Ford, shared that his administration is keen on working to build football through such tournaments and organizations. Key, I was keen to, to pay attention to your comments regarding the league that we will use to um, decide on our promotion. It's interesting that you're saying that because part of the deliberation that is going on at the executive level is we're really trying to figure out what level of competition the football federation really needs to have its hand in and at this point i can tell you we're very interested in the youth level because the ghana football federation main focus is the development of football and we believe that we can do very good work at the youth level and we believe that we can build good partnership at the levels above youth level where some of the tournaments don't necessarily need to be run by the federation but the structure of how these tournaments are operated needs to be um, engineered by the Federation Technical Department. So those are relationships that we will be exploring in the future and I can see us having some very good conversation as to where we go with that. The tournament will have 16 teams participating from throughout the country with the top team expected to walk away with $500,000. In addition, the top teams out of the groups will be receiving cash incentives with the group leaders taking away $100,000. The tournament is expected to conclude on February 26th with a venue yet to be decided on. Tristan Joseph for Newsroom Sport.